إِلَيَّ بِرَحْمَةٍ ماذا يصلى؟ ياد لشالو Why are Ahmadis declared as non-Muslim? Imad is trying to convert me to be Ahmadiyya Am I an Ahmadiyya now? No, not yet Habibi is happy Hey, what's up Seekers? Welcome back. We are on our way back north again, this time to chat with the Ahmadiyya community. We don't yet know what to expect, but we will find out together and we will share the journey and document it as we go. We're arriving at the Ahmadiyya headquarters, not just in Israel, but of the entire Middle East. And we're meeting with Imad. My friend, <laughs> how <Yes>. are you? <laughs> we are going to spend some time with me and see what is the nature of my work. We are starting at 4.30, but you need yeah. to wake up. A.M. In the afternoon. No, no, A.M. 4.30 in the morning. Yeah. <laughs> so you have to wake up. Tell me. <laughs> this is your room. Yo, thank you. I hope you enjoy it. Okay. Good so, night. Uh, good night. Thank you. Established in 1889 by Mirza Ulam Ahmad of Qadian, peace be upon him, the revivalist Messianic Ahmadiyya Muslim community, with worldwide adherents today numbering in the millions, believe themselves to be championing the renaissance of Islam, fighting for, as they see it, Islam's true teachings of peace, love, justice, and the sanctity of life, and aim to restore Islam to its true form as a force for lasting global peace. It's your first experience to pray tahajjud. Well, tahajjud is uh, an essential part of the day of uh, a Muslim imam. Ahmadis, as they're known, believe that Mirza Ulam Ahmad was in fact the divinely appointed promised Mahdi and Messiah sent to end all religious wars, restore morality, peace and justice on earth. So you finish praying? No, 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 we are just prayers. We are waiting for the Adhan. The Ahmadi community was first established here in 1928, and then in 1950, Ahmadi converts settled in the village of Kababir, today part of the city of Haifa, which as of 2015 reported an Ahmadi population of around 2,200. May Allah increase them. Today, Israel is the only country in the Middle East where Ahmadis have the freedom of religion to openly practice their religion as Muslims. Consequently, Kababir here in Haifa functions as the headquarters for the Ahmadiyya community across the Middle East. You will see that we do most of our work when the people are sleeping. I like that, I like that. 5am <laughs> club is our game. Nice. Yes. <laughs> it's just an easy thing for us. So is that, is that, it? Is that the whole day? No, not yet. We are yet to start. After Fajr, uh, it's also a blessed time to recite the Holy Quran. Let's go to my office. أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم إنما كان قول المؤمنين إذا دعوا It's, it's just very beautiful verse. I, I like it. The Quran is not supposed to be a book that is put on the shelf. Every day you should have lessons from the Quran. It's a living book. So if I'm not taking lessons from the Holy Quran, there is no benefit of me reading the Quran. Some people just read it and try to put tune and beautiful voice and things okay it is nice it attracts a lot of people towards quran but what attracts more is your morals if your morals are according to quran then you will attract many much more people so the prayers in it they live with us otherwise we will be a dead religion see if you take the people around you can see the diversity you have jews you have christians you have muslims and all are living in peace and they really love each other. Do you have friends here that, that are not Ahmadi? Mm, yes. You are my friend. Yeah. Are you an Ahmadi? Yeah. <laughs> you can't see Haifa and not love it. Now you know where to come and read books. Is this your spot? No, <laughs> but I love it. Wow, what a good spot. Do you have a spot that you go to? The mosque? <laughs> <laughs> Guests come visit the mosque and I tell them about Islam. I changed their idea about Islam. It's so enjoyable. I really feel so excited. I don't take Hebrew, but <laughs> I try my best to convey the message in English. I try to move my hands more. I try <laughs> to use my uh, body language to make them understand. And it's amazing how they understand. Alhamdulillah. 
it's it's good. At least they understand love for all hatred. Simple message. Yes. So how long are you gonna be in Khaifa for? Until my caliph tells me to go somewhere else. Well, and like, do you have any guess how long that might be? No. I mean, that's crazy that you can be here for like a few months or a few decades and you have no idea. Yes. Wow. <laughs> it's part of the sacrifice you give for your cause. Are you like concerned to get attached to the places or to people if you have to leave? You will have a relationship with the place. You'll have a relationship with the people. Right. But when you all know that you are going to serve somewhere else, then it doesn't make difference where you are going. Mm. Okay, as long as it's the same thing that you get attached to, mm. is here and everywhere. But uh, sometimes you feel some. You miss the people. You miss the place also. They they really become your brothers, and you don't appreciate it at the beginning. So the family's still there. Yes. In Jordan. Do you ever go back to visit? I didn't have the chance yet. Hmm. Do you miss them? Yes, of course. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not a stone. <laughs> <laughs> okay, finally we are out of New York traffic. The Holy Mountain. <laughs> <laughs> I told him, you are okay, sure, okay, okay, I am okay. Yes, come up. You see what's the benefit of being a Muslim? Your keeper will not slide. <laughs> you ready? Yes. Baruch atah Adonai, Eloheinu melech olam, shahakol nye levo. Meh? Shahakol, that everything that is, nihye, was created, bidvaro, with his, with his speech. Okay, with his speech. Yeah. We believe that God speaks the world into existence. Yes. The same as this. <laughs> we say the whole concept of creation, just if he says the word kun, then the thing will happen. What's be. Be. Right. Right. Mm. Wow. Delicious. Mm. Really good. This peri is very nice. Yeah. Hi. See, I'm a very good man. We'll switch. I don't share You're my peri with favorite. anyone. I'm telling you. <laughs> I feel very lucky. Yeah. You are. Be careful. Mmm. <laughs> Be a Muslim. I saw you have a second hat in your office. You gotta give me one. Uh -huh. <laughs> you can wear my kippah and you I wear your hat. <laughs> so that's the vision. The vision is that it should be a city for all people. For all people. Yeah. Not only Jerusalem. Should, all the world should be for all yes. people. But Jerusalem needs to be a model of that. Of what, of oh, what it after all what happened in Jerusalem, yes, <laughs> it should be. We pray all the time for the peace of Jerusalem. The peace, peace in Hebrew, shalom. Shalom. Also means shalem. Means means to be complete. Yes, yes. And it's not complete if there are pieces that are that are out of harmony or pieces that are missing. Here, especially here, we need a lot of work. Why don't we see this kind of uh, scene? Someone with a kippah and someone with a Muslim hat sitting with each other yeah. everywhere. Yeah. Why do we need to see only Jews sitting together, Muslims sitting together? But just when we have the intention that, yes, I want to live with this nation, I want to live with these people. We have to learn how to live together, yes. even though we have mistakes. Yes. It's difficult. <laughs> we have to be very strong. So all of this and some people are still sleeping. We actually had the day. Yeah, I feel like I feel like, I feel like we're ready to retire already. Thank you for the delicious breakfast. No, the breakfast is still waiting for us. <laughs> Don't hide it from your followers. <laughs> Wow, is the film that you wrote in the Sefer? Yes, I'm going to go to the Sefer. 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 This is very kind that they went out of all this way to, to get kosher food just for me. I feel very... I told very you you are our guest. <laughs> it's very kind. Now we will talk to someone from the UK. Assalamu alaikum. So, Father Sahib, I have here Zevi. So I thought that you are the perfect person to communicate to.
So why are Ahmadis declared as non-Muslim? And when they have the same kalima, La ilaha illallah Muhammadur Rasulullah, they follow the five pillars of Islam, the six articles of faith, they follow the Holy Quran, the Sunnah of the Holy Prophet, they pray five times a day. Ahmadis have never introduced a new teaching within the religion of Islam, neither taken anything away. So this is Father. Uh -huh. He is a senior missionary for me. Yes. He is a very old man. <laughs> He's having white hair already. <laughs> okay. So I will leave you with him. He's a very nice person. Yeah, sure. Hey, how are you, man? Hey, very nice to meet you, man. Is there is there like some point in your life where you commit to devote yourself to the work and to the study? beyond just being a normal yeah. Ahmadi? Yeah, so that's a really good question. They, within the Ahmadi Muslim community, there's this system where parents actually devote their kids for the cause. Mm. And then when the child grows up to 15, they reaffirm that they, they want to continue. So I went through that scheme and I decided to continue and the majority do. So I went to college. And then after college, I went to yeah. train in the missionary university. And how long is how long is that training? So that's seven years. Seven wow. years. Seven long years. <laughs> it's a good environment. That we study, you know, the Holy Quran, different religions. Yeah. So so Imad went to study in Ghana. He did seven years there. Yeah. We were chatting about it this yeah, morning. Yeah, yeah. So Imad is trying to convert me to be Ahmadiyya. <laughs> Oh no, why is he, why is he, why is he forcefully conveying? It's not, not forcefully, just, just, just gently. But he said it's the true religion and I must follow it. He has, he has to prove to you it's the true religion. Yeah, he hasn't done that yet. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> if, he hasn't, if he hasn't done that, he shouldn't be making that statement. <laughs> you can hear the adhan, it's duhar, midday prayer. You don't pray duhar? I'm going. To pray. We have five prayers, we have to pray them. You will pray with us? I want you to try the Muslim prayer. Yeah, sure. I don't know, I think... Will you, will you teach me how to do it? You just try it. Try how it is. You have prayed with us. <laughs> Anyone can pray with you. Yes, it's your freedom. As long as you don't feel bad about doing it, then you can pray with us, no problem. Am I in Ahmadiyya now? No, not yet. Assalamualaikum. <laughs> 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 This is Hazm. This is Zevi. He's uh, filming a day with an imam. A vlog? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Very nice vlog. It will be, inshallah. I didn't forget. I just want you to remind me. So, we are here to talk about Islam in a very easy way. I will ask you to tell me only one thing you know about Islam. And then we will collect all together and we will discover that we know a lot about each other. I am a human being, just like other human beings. So I have to respect them, I have to love them, I have to have peace with them. Bye! I love you all! Thank you. Wa alaikum salam wa rahmatullah. Lena Amma Bahman. Take care of روت إسلام عميتي ماذا إسلام يا لشلو زي إسلام زي إسلام عميتي شاني يشوف ملخا بين دوتشيلي بين إتصاق بين ياكوب يشوفين بيحد على شرحان أحد وأني أوهب وتخا وأني لو ما فحيد ما فحيد شو زي ما شكتوا بتسلي بسفر تلاعب أنا ألمان أي مود אתה מוזמן כל הזמן, אתה בבית שלך. אני מרגיש ככה. כל הזמן. תודה. באהבה. תודה. יאללה. זמן תפילה. He was very young, he was very short, okay? It was in 2016. And I saw him coming to call Adan, so he would put a chair and stand to call the Adan. 
When you upload this on YouTube, send, uh, send it to me. Yes. <laughs> Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar Ashadu I don't know. I don't want to say it to the camera, but I want to share really what I feel when the boy was calling Adhan. I was feeling a bit emotional that uh, we really could change and that really the world is a, a big place for us to live in. It's, it is enough for all of us to live together. And today's program added more faith to my faith that we can do more we can if someone can come all the way from jerusalem to come and speak to a person like me who didn't do anything in this life just to learn more about islam and to learn more about this community then i knew that we have a lot to do and we shouldn't give up we should continue all of us like really uh, seek for peace and uh, it made my belief firm again. It added more firmness to it. That let's go, let's do more. <laughs> let's strive more to establish peace and to attain that world that we dream of. That world where we all live together and we don't need to fight each other and kill each other in order to exist alone. That's all. <laughs> yes, you're welcome. Thank you. Oh. <laughs> I, don't, I wonder what. Uh, what a legend. As Ahmadi Muslims, we try to plant it in the brains and in the hearts of our followers that you should love all people. Just like the mother loves her children, even more than that, because our founder said, I love all human beings like a mother loves her children even more. I should be like this as a real Muslim. I cannot be a real Muslim and hate someone. Our motto is love for all, hatred for none. But when you have a beautiful message, when you really believe in it, okay, when this message is really coming out of your heart, it will find its way to the hearts of other people. And not because I want him to be a Muslim or I want him to be a Christian or anything. The real thing is, if you see this kind of beautiful people in the world, you will be inspired to continue work. Now everyone that comes to this mosque, I teach them also. 
that you shouldn't think that you cannot change the world. It starts with me and you. If we don't believe that we can change the world, no one will believe it for us. So I, as a Muslim, still believing that I want to live alone, or that a prophet will come one day and kill all the others and leave me as a Muslim, I'm going against the Holy Quran that says that I'm creating you in different shapes and different nations and tribes in order to meet each other. Mm. How can I believe in such a thing? My name is Abdul Shabu. That I am happy to see you. That yes. you pray with us. Thank you very much. It was a pleasure to pray with you. And yeah, Allah accept your prayer. Thank you. The claim that Mirza Ghulam Ahmad, yes. that he's the Mahdi and the Messiah, that's a very big claim. Yes. How do, how do Ahmadiyya back up that claim? Well, we have a lot of uh, proofs and evidences. If you have time to make your uh, <laughs> viewers uh, be bored, <laughs> I can mention all of them. <laughs> Tell us like the top three. Oh, this one should be a bo uh, podcast. <laughs> it should be three, four hours. Let me, let me ask you maybe the most obvious question, yes. which is that the point of the Messiah is to redeem the world, mm -hmm. right? And we live in what seems to be a very unredeemed world. Mm -hmm. Yes. So, <laughs> so how do we reconcile yeah, that very issue? Good. Maybe the redeeming that happened in the last 100 years or 130 years, I don't think it happened before. We are talking about millions of people that changed their lives around the world. So you believe that it's a process that's going on with the spiritual revolution, people returning? Of course, if you don't believe it's a process, you are believing in magic. If you believe in magic, you are having a problem. <laughs> there is a process for everything. Yes. That's why I told you in the beginning, I'm not talking about economical theory. I'm not talking, because economical theory will live for 100 years, 200 years, 300 years, then it will die. But the change we are creating will never die. I'm going to make the change. Inshallah. Oh, what do you say, we did it? I think so. <laughs> we did more than enough. <laughs> I've got to say, to be honest, looking back at this footage now, I think that I totally missed the mark. Imad cleared his schedule to be with me for the day, and my hopes of catching a day in the life of an Imam, following around doing his ordinary things, kind of didn't work because Imad spent the day with me, which was really beautiful. And sometimes when you lose an intended storyline, a new, different, and sometimes wholly unexpected and beautiful storyline emerges. And it got me thinking this. We live in an absurd world, an insanely absurd world. A world which seems really broken, fractured, pained, alienated, and hurting at times. A world that is waiting for redemption. Now, the Ahmadi community believe that a redeemer did come in the 1880s, and they live their lives idealistically trying to pursue what that messianic redemption and reality might just demand of them. But in a world full with political conflict, religious hatred and violence, any belief in a simplistic messianic redemption that's going to lead us to some sort of utopia is a bit hard to believe and I don't know if we have the solutions at hand to solve it, I certainly don't. But what I do know and what I'm learning in life slowly is that the only thing that really matters in life are the meaningful relationships which we're able to forge. And the only way that any meaningful change can ever take place is in and through those relationships. So beyond the banter, the jokes, the prayer, the learning, the exploring, the chocolate milks and double breakfasts, what this day provided for me was an opportunity to go beyond just talking about peace and unity and harmony and to actually put that into practice to build a relationship between two strangers from across national, political, religious lines, with a brother to have each other's backs, even if we can't solve anything. And I don't know if we can. At the very least, we can come away from this experiment with a handful of beautiful relationships that we've collected along the way while trying. And that, I think, is well worth it. Wow, that was really fun. I enjoyed it. Thank you for thank you for having me as a guest. It's a pleasure for us to have you. You are my brother. Thank you. Thank you. It was a, it was a pleasure to be with you.
and I hope to be back again. You have to, it's not hope. <laughs> if you didn't come back again, there will be problems. <laughs> it was very nice. Okay. We will be in touch. Okay. We are Good to see you. Okay. Assalamu alaikum. Shalom, shalom. Enjoy your peace. Be good. Okay. Stay safe. Behave okay. yourself. Habib is there. Take care, brother. Okay. Assalamu alaikum. And that's it. That is a day in the life of an Ahmadi Muslim with Imad, the one and only, the sweetest, the cutest. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for watching. I hope to show anyone that they can do the same. They can go step beyond their comfort zones, make friends, find a brother and a sister, and uh, the world will be that much more sweeter because of it. Much love and keep seeking. Ha <laughs> ha